In the late afternoon of August 12, 2023, the Embraer Fenham 300 aircraft, of registration number 5NAAK that was carrying a religious delegation from Nigeria, touched down at Niamey's Diori Heyman International Airport, for the delegation's scheduled meeting with the Niger military junta. Upon touching down, the delegation that was led by Nigeria's Sheikh Bala Lao was granted a red carpet, signifying that they were highly welcome in Niger because their mission was peace, and only peace. At the airport, the delegation was received by selected members of Niger's newly formed ministerial council, amid tight security as seen here. Immediately after its arrival at the airport, the delegation went straight to the presidential palace where it was received by the president of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Fatherland, that is General Abdurrahman Chiani who is also Niger's transitional head of state. The Nigerians ended up having a relatively lengthy discussion with General Abdurrahman Chiani, the members of his Council of Ministers as well as the Prime Minister and Head of Government Ali Mohamed Lamine Zaina. Unlike in the past cases, this delegation's visit seems to have been a success since in a press briefing over the same, the Nigerians acknowledged that they had talked on a wide variety of things, but of utmost importance being peace and a return to civilian rule. However, after the meeting, the Niger military junta said that there will be no further negotiations with regional and international organizations until they recognize their new government. That, General Abdurrahman Chiani's administration is closing all peaceful negotiations with regional and international organizations, including ECOWAS, the African Union and the United Nations until they recognize the legitimacy of his newly formed government. The delegation's meeting of the Niger junta was part of diplomatic efforts for a return to constitutional order and it's supported by President Bola Tanubu of Nigeria. As the discussions were underway, a newly formed fundraising committee for the support of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Fatherland or rather General Abdurrahman Chiani's government released a statement to appeal to people of goodwill, both within the country and outside to contribute in show of solidarity with the council. At the same time, Niger's Central Council of the Union of Workers' Unions, together with former trade unionists jointly released a statement to pledge their support for General Abdurrahman Chiani's government. That all trade and workers' unions in Niger are in support of the military junta, the same being good news for Chiani's transitional government. Faced with threats from some ECOWAS members who are pushing for a military intervention in Niger to topple the junta and reinstate Mohamed Bazoum's presidency, the new Minister of National Defense General Salafu Modi traveled to Mali on the Friday of August 11 to hold discussions with the Malian transitional government over the issue. As seen here, he was received in Bamako by Colonel Asimi Goita and it's rumored that he also met representatives of Russia's Wagner PMC, which has a base in Mali. The discussions being on how to beef up security in Niger and have a Wagner contingent deployed to Niger for counterinsurgency and counterterrorism operations, in addition to preparedness for any intervention from ECOWAS. Then speaking on a military intervention, the United States and France which both have military bases in Niger seem to be divided on the issue, where, France is in support of the intervention and has openly pledged to support ECOWAS with whatever it needs for the same. On its part, the United States, just like Russia is against a military intervention and is rooting for dialogue as a means to solve the crisis. Then as some other good news for Chiani's government, hundreds of Nigerians demonstrated in Kano state on the Saturday of August 12 against a possible military intervention of Niger by ECOWAS. The demonstrators asked Nigerian President Bola Tanubu to consider pursuing a diplomatic path for settlement of the crisis instead of seeking to have an ECOWAS military force storm Niger. It was even by no surprise that we saw ECOWAS chiefs of defense forces postpone their meeting that had been scheduled to take place on that Saturday of August 12 in Accra, Ghana, with diplomatic sources revealing that there is a fundamental split within ECOWAS over the intervention. The ECOWAS chiefs of defense forces were to meet and possibly discuss on how to arm the ECOWAS standby force and how to actualize that invasion, should it be approved. Do you think these developments are a sure sign that ECOWAS efforts are failing, and that it's high time to accept that Mohamed Bazoum's presidency will never be reinstated by the military junta regardless of pressure from ECOWAS, the African Union or the West? Leave your thoughts on this below and don't forget to subscribe before leaving.